hardworking, man. She comes in and even though she's off for months at a time, she doesn't miss a beach, picks it right up. The shift leaders have really let me know how, how well she does. Yadi like really cares about people. And so I feel like I was never talking at her. Like she was a student that was just really easy to have conversations with. She has so much like intrinsic motivation and drive. I've seen pre some pretty really bad stuff in Cicero and like just seeing all of that, it's like, I have to get out of here. I have to get my family out of here. Like we can't keep going on like this. In seventh grade, I had friends who were like 12 years old, like me already having kids. I also had a few friends who were killed because of like gang affiliations. I wish they were here right now so we could all graduate together, but sadly we don't all have those same opportunities. So I have to work hard to get us out of here. So one day come back and fix my community and help them. In seventh grade, I had a friend. She was in eighth grade and she was telling me about how she was very excited to come to Chicago Hope Academy. So I researched more about Hope and I signed myself up for like a shadow day where I followed a Stephanie around the school. I talked to teachers, I talked to the staff and they were so cool, so fun. So I made myself a plan that year, seventh grade, to work really hard the next year, eighth grade, to get into the school. And when it finally came time for me to come to Hope, um, I applied by myself. And I'm here now. Yeah, Yadi uh, just kind of came in as uh, just a normal teenager. We have plenty of them that we hire, you know. She was a little reserved at first. She really kind of came out of her shell, though, in the first couple months. She did have issues with her scheduling conflicts once school started, which all high schoolers do, you know. And she, once she kind of got that balance, like honestly, in the last year, she really flourished. I was working from like Monday to Saturday from like 5 to 10.30, which was basically every day. And that instantly made my grades drop. That made me realize that I had to make a schedule. So I got, I started getting um, more organized with my schedule at work and at school. And I, I was learning how to balance stuff. Chick-fil-A um, taught me how to like organize my life more, like teach me how to be an adult. I've just seen Yadira grow so much in the last two years, like as a leader. Um, I think that she's always had a uh, like go-getter personality. I think that she's always been exuberant and um, bold, but I think that in her senior year especially, I've seen that become more refined, I think, and like knowing when to when to speak, knowing when to challenge, and um, really like falling into like who she is as a leader. I think that our students are really fortunate, one, to go to a school of our size. I was really touched and like kind of blown away by the kids' um, encouragement of one another and like the camaraderie around like yeah, just celebrating the successes of other people and like even today seeing them celebrate each other and where they're going. And so I think that that is something that hope has instilled in them really well. And I don't think that that exists everywhere. I'm grateful for the emphasis that hope puts on future planning and the emphasis that it doesn't have to be the same for everybody. Based on Yadi as a hope kid, would you hire additional hope? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, because um, she's, not our only hope kid that we've had, you know, and great for the guests that pick up what we're trying to have them do because we do put a lot on our team members. We have goals, expectations for them, and honestly, both of them pretty much flourish. I hope to one day become a surgeon so that I can work in like small communities like Cicero that can help out other Latinos that don't have a chance. So I hope that one day I can like become so big that I can open up my own um, kind of like hosp mini hospital in like a small town where I can help out my community. So they're helping me, they're pushing me forward so that one day I can come back and help them, push them forward, so. I've known Yadi as long as I've been at Hope and so I don't know, uh, I don't know what it's like to be at Hope without Yadira. Um, and I think that just says a lot about like the weight of like her character and yeah, she just like cares so much for her family, for her friends. 
Um, and I just am really excited to see like where that passion takes her, that um, she is like not an easily deterred person. She is not easily stifled. Yeah, I love her. <laughs>